Yes. So now that we have added an asset, we can go on to add more uh, security controls. In this case, we'll add a software protection control backup, basically SW.A backups. And you can just drag and drop this to the controls group. Like this, as we've shown before. Um, double click on the backups control and uh, select implemented. Yes. Uh, so oops. Yes. Have some explanation. And um, then edit the objective, which uh, could be to ensure availability and business continuity. Then mark this uh, statement of applicability as selected and choose the reason for selecting it as a result of risk assessment because you have done a risk assessment in, in this no power organization and figured out that okay, yes, we need to, to do backups to ensure that we don't lose all data. And then Go on to impact for for uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. No effect on these two, but for availability, you can take modifies two levels. For instance, if you have, have uh, two parallel disks that you back up to and then it's this is considered to increase or well, sorry decrease the risk by two levels if, if this this uh, control is implemented and um, you can add an explanation that you have a mirrored backup disks mm -hmm. and uh, can add uh, some cost values, for instance. Labor costs 25,000 euros. Material fixed costs 2,000. Time period could be a year, uh, etc. You can uh, add more if you want, and then. Risk assessment. Let's consider medium. Yeah, don't really have to fill in this now. Okay, we do it, and then you press Control S to save this backups control. Uh, you can also create relations between different objects in very nice. In this case, you can, for instance, uh, drag the backups control to the Office PC asset, and this adds a relation so that it supports the backup control. Do it like this. Yes. If you now look here, then you see that the Office PC has a relationship to the backups control. And then that concludes this uh, section on creating assets, controls and relations.